So a few videos back, I made a video where I talked about the number one product from 10 different brands at the drugstore, and you all seem to love that idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of make it into a little series where we can go through the highest products of each brand. We'll switch up the brands each time. We'll find out what the very best are and what I absolutely love, and you can see whether or not there's something that you might like too. We always do talk about what I have on. I have a beautiful red sweater on. It's kind of cut a little bit low. The sweater can actually be turned to the back, so this can be your back detail. I would su probably suggest that you wore a tank top underneath it if you are very modest because this um, is a little bit lower than even I'm comfortable with and you know, I don't mind that very much, but a little bit more. The sweater is very comfortable, comes down to around the butt. And then I did pair some cute little necklaces with it that came in a set, a little heart and a little bar. And then I also did pair some very pretty dangle rhinestone and gold earrings with them as well that I just thought went so good and together. Today, if you're wondering about any of the makeup, the fingernail polish, the rings, any of that, that will all be listed and linked below for you so that you can know that. I also link things in a numbering system, one through however many we get through today. Next to whatever I'm talking about, there'll be the number of it. And then you can go down into the description box and there'll be a link next to it with all the information and you can shop that way if you'd like to. All right, let's get into to these 10 products. All right, the first brand is ColourPop. And really I could do video after video on ColourPop because I think that they have so many number one products. But I wanted to share with you this fil no filter primer that I have been using from them. This primer is a lovely primer for anybody that has that dry to normal type skin because I've noticed that since the heat came on, my skin is super dry this year and I feel like I'm needing a little bit of extra hydration. So this goes on with that little bit of hydration, but then it does what it's supposed to, which is smoothing out any texture, any pores that you have on your skin and also creating a barrier between your foundation and your moisturizer so your foundation doesn't disappear during the day. If you're wondering what to compare it to, it's a lot lighter than the NYX Marshmallow Primer. It's a little bit lighter than the Tatcha, but not by much. So it's a little bit lighter of a primer. I'm really enjoying it this winter. Wet n Wild is a company that we did not talk about last time. For me, Wet n Wild's number one product will always be the Photo Focus Foundations. Now, I think that putting the dewy and the matte together is just perfection, and that's what I've done today. I put this on with the brush, and I put the little paddle that you get inside of here. I just put one swatch of each of it onto that brush, and then I mixed them together with the brush as I was putting it on my face, and this is so pretty. I feel like this this is probably one of the prettiest high-end foundations in a little bitty drugstore bottle. So many times, drugstore can be every bit as good. Personally, when you get a foundation like this and it lasts all day and it doesn't show texture and you get that beautiful coverage and you can get the dewy or the matte, personally, I feel like it absolutely is. And so these two I've worn for years and years, and I think that if you mix them together, you might even like them better if you just have one or the other, but they're really, really awesome foundations. Last time we talked about Catrice, and I talked about their True Skin Foundation, which I think is one of the most beautiful hydrating foundations that I have seen in a long time. But this time we're gonna talk about their Hydrating Concealer, which I think is every bit as beautiful as that foundation is. This has that same hydration effect, but the coverage is just phenomenal. No caking, no settling into fine lines. Now I know when you see me in this clip of putting on the concealer, you're gonna think, oh my gosh, what's she doing? She's got so much on. I will leave a video down below where you can look at how I actually do my co my concealer. It's completely different than what we're taught to right now. It just works for me and it might work for you too, but I know that this is kind of shell shock for everybody that sees me put so much concealer on at once, but it works. I feel like this concealer, again, should be held up to high end or luxury standards because it is such a nice concealer in the way that it covers and sets down on the under eyes and doesn't move. It's just beautiful. Give it a try. It's very inexpensive. I think you might really love it. Next, we're gonna talk about an eyeshadow primer. Now, I really have only used two eyeshadow primers. I'm in the process of trying just about every eyeshadow primer I can get my hands on because I always end up comparing them to the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer, which has been my holy grail for years. However, when I did run 
ran across this one from Jason Wu. This is the Prime Eye. I felt like this is every bit as good. And it really does the same things, which is give a base to your eyeshadow that cancels out all of the redness that you have on your eyelid. That's my number one thing. And then of course, to make that eyeshadow look more vibrant because you're putting on a little bit lighter of a color. And the other thing that it really does is it just grips onto the primer for the whole entire day. And you're gonna love your eyeshadow so much more than if you just do a clear one. I feel like an eyeshadow can be so much prettier and more vibrant if you choose something that's going to cancel out the redness that's on your eyes. And this one does that job. Also the Wonder Sticks from NYX. Now, I will say one thing about this. These have a tendency to come out very easy, meaning that that bullet will come out. And I'm not real happy about that. However, if you're really so inclined, just take a lighter or something and heat up the bottom of it, put it back down in there. It's going to grip again. I love the highlighter on this. I think that it's a very pretty highlighter. It's not intense, which I like too. So if you wanted to put it on your inner eye, or if you just wanted to wear it all over your eye, for a day for a very simple look you could do that it's very pretty and it blends out very easy it just is very creamy and i like it very much and then of course the bullet that's on the other end i've actually used a lot of this one that is the contour now on your hand it looks a lot more of a muddy contour than it is actually when it gets kind of blurred out on your face and blended out it gets to be just for me more of a bronzer so I wouldn't consider this too much of a, a contour because I like a very, very muddy contour, but this one does a good job of being able to do both. Like today I did use it to go up in my hairline, to cut out the gels and to cut out the cheekbones. I've actually used this in conjunction with the other side, which is the highlighter, across my eyes for a little bit of eyeshadow. This is creamy. It lasts a long time on your skin. I really love what they've done with these sticks. For blush today, I actually chose these two Palladium stick blushes. Now Palladio is not a brand that you can get in a drugstore very much anymore. So you have to order these online, whether you order them from Amazon or somewhere else, but they are so pretty and they to me act so much like the Huda Beauty stick blushes. Hers all are a little bit glowy. However, this one that I have right here, this is a little bit more on a satin color to it and then the other one that i have is the glowy product so you can get the glowy just like the huda beauty i feel like this feels just like that it has the same texture as it it does this beautiful blending when you get it onto a brush or anything else i actually always usually put things onto a brush and then use a brush to blend out i just have a lot more success and a lot more control that way. But these are pretty foolproof. If you're wanting to maybe layer the one that doesn't have a lot of sheen in it with the one that does have the sheen on top and get a beautiful kind of glow on your cheeks, I think that would be so pretty. They feel very high end and very luxe. And I do feel like they, these to me are their, in their top five for sure of products. These are really beautiful and I think you'll love them. I also have been talking for a very long time about the Physicians Formula Rose All Day Set and Glow Powders. Not necessarily so much for the glow part because the glow part that you have in here in this pan part that lifts up is kind of almost a Vaseline product. And even though it's pretty, and yes, it would give you a glow, it's a little bit sticky. And I don't really like that on my cheeks, even when I'm looking for a pretty glow. I want something that's going to either be a cream that sets down, or I want something that's going to be a powder that sets down anyway. But this powder itself, even though it looks very glowy, on my finger and it looks very glowy in the pan. I've used this powder today to set underneath my eyes, to go across my cheeks and in the middle of my face to give just an extra oomph. So this isn't a powder that you're gonna use and then you're gonna go, oh my goodness, I'm so glowy, unless you overdo it. But if you go light on this and you're strategic in where you put it, not setting down your makeup with it, but definitely using it as a finishing powder, I think that you're going to absolutely love 
love this. And then from Neutrogena, very recently, a lot of you were telling me about different Neutrogena products. And I have to confess that I have never been a really big fan of Neutrogena. But when I found this spray and their one primer that I showed in a, a previous video last week, this is the Radiant Setting Spray from them. When I found this spray, this spray is different. It's very unique. I feel like I'm getting this very beautiful radiance or this very beautiful ethereal look without getting a glow or a shine or something looks greasy. It's nothing like that. I like the sprayer on it. The mister on it is very fine and very nice. And I just really have been enjoying this. What I do with this is I will spray this on the back of my hand get my beauty sponge and then set my under eyes. And that little bit of radiance is also helping this under eye area not to look so dried out and like you're the Crypt Keeper. I have been very vocal about my top three setting sprays being very high end, Charlotte Tilbury Benefit and the new MAC one. But this one could hold its own in there very easily. And I do reach for it every bit as much as I reach for those. So I guess I have top four setting sprays. This is a beautiful setting spray. Think you're gonna love it if you give it a try. All right, gonna get the spectacles on for this part of the video. I am a huge Revlon fan. My number one product that I've always loved from Revlon has been their foundation and these lipsticks. Their lipsticks are so beautiful. I feel like these lipsticks could very easily hold their ground with Charlotte Tilbury and T Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath. They're just beautiful lipstick. So let me just swatch a few of them for you. This one is called Champagne on Ice. This is a one that has a pearl in it. It has more of a peachy color to it. The next one is called Primrose. This one has been touted as a dupe for Max Snob. And I recently talked about one of Maybelline's that was a dupe for that as well. The next one is called Blushing Mauve. This is a beautiful kind of a mid-toned pink color that I think is so pretty and really would look beautiful on many different women. And then the next one is actually the one that I have on, and this one is called Bear It All. This is just one of those nude colors that with paired with just about any lip liner, you're gonna love it. It's just so pretty. I'll actually put a little bit more on right now so you can see just a little bit. Beautiful formula, so silky, so creamy, and I just love the way that they wear. Very hot. Now, I'm hoping that all of these will be available because, you know, I've had some of these for a long time and some of them might have been discontinued. Most of these are going to be a very satin lipstick, not a matte lipstick. This one is called Pink in the Afternoon beautiful, just a bright, like a spring colored pink that would go either way if you're warm or cool or neutral. And then this one is called Blushed. And this again is says it's a pearl one. And this one is very much like that last one, just got a little bit of pearl in it. And then the last one that I'm gonna show you is my only matte. And this one is called Make It Pink. And this one is definitely a cool tone pink that you would want to wear, that personally I want to wear with a lip liner. It's just one of those very beautiful springtime colors that I love so much. So Revlon definitely has a fantastic lipstick formula. And I think if you see a color that you like, you'll love the formula and give it a try. The last company that I have on our list to talk about is Essence. And I feel like Essence is one of those hit or miss companies. They have some really, really good products and then they have a lot of duds. But I did a whole entire video on this and if you've been around my, my channel very long, this is no surprise to you how I feel about this mascara. This is the Essence 24 Bold Volume Mascara. I have likened this many times to the Benefit Their Real Mascara. The wand is a little bit different than that wand, but it's still a silicone bristle brush. And I love this. This defines the lashes fans them out and lengthens them so beautifully. It also catches the underneath lashes. You can definitely build on it and get several coats on, but it really makes very long, beautiful lashes. And since my lashes are so light colored or blonde, it's very important to catch every single lash. And I feel like that's what this one does. And for me, it doesn't smudge or flake or anything like that. It's just a beautiful mascara that lasts all day and gives me great length, volume, and holds a curl. So that is the last one of the top 10 
favorite products from 10 drugstore brands. There are tons of different products that I love so much from each brand. I think this will be a great series for us to continue to go into. I think that you're going to really enjoy it. It's a great way to showcase what is the best from each brand and for us to be able to compare notes. So definitely if there's anything in these brands that you think are really great products that you love so much, let us know down in the comment section so that we can all hear about that. That's always something that we love to discuss is what's our favorite. So thanks so much for being with me today. I always appreciate you more than you know. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, doing great. Take care of yourselves and I'll catch you all in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.